Hi everybody, I'm Dr. David Reith and I'm here to talk about this week's Truth of Meter Tuesday question. Well, we're talking about how to have plastic surgery done so that it's done safely and appropriately, specifically with regards to the setting and the type of anesthesia. And what we said was that it is safer to have plastic surgery done in an accredited surgical facility uh, than it is to have it done in an office under local anesthesia. Yeah, well, pretty simple, right? Well, you all got it correct. It is simple. The answer is yes, but you would be surprised at the things that are still happening in this day and age. Uh, recently, a surgeon in North Carolina was suspended and uh, I think will be sanctioned and perhaps even have uh, criminal charges for performing procedures under local anesthesia in his office, sedating patients without adequate monitoring. There were very, very bad outcomes, including patients' deaths. And the problem is that people who are not uh, board-certified general uh, plastic surgeons don't necessarily have the same code of standards that members of the American Society of Plastic Surgeons have. We're all board-certified plastic surgeons. We must attest that we're only operating in accredited, license, accredited operating rooms, which means either a surgery center, a hospital, or a office-based surgery center which has been thoroughly uh, examined. It's up to, stuff, up to snuff in terms of all its regulations, and all the emergency and resuscitation and monitoring equipment is on site. That takes a lot. It's expensive, but it's all an investment in patient safety. So many surgeons who want to be a plastic surgeon, but who aren't, will start, will try to do operations in settings which don't assure patient safety. And this is why this is a big uh, concern. It's a major concern of the American Society of Plastic Surgeons because our number one concern is patient safety. So that's why I, I pose a question like this, which seems trivial. But in this day and age, one must still be careful about where your surgery is being done and who is doing it. So do your homework and ask the right questions. But let's find out who this week's winner is. Meg Graham. Meg, congratulations. You're this week's winner. We have a $100 gift card for you. For everyone else, thanks for playing. We'll have another question next week.